Good afternoon. Here we are at 563 South 70th. That's headed down Main Street, pointing out the gravel. There's lots of gravel, new sod added. Um, here's the neighborhood. The house is small, but it's really well laid out. So that road up there that runs adjacent, but the, the brain's not working. The road up there at that stop sign is gravel and you can see it, kind of, it's, there's a lot of gravel here and it pulls gravel down into the street. There's just gravel all over. They graveled this for like an RV parking. Here's the exterior of the home. They did a nice remodel. They're using that the scheme from, I don't know, like six years ago, the gray with a kind of bright yellow or like, you know, some people were using that kind of um, tennis ball yellow, but it's nice. It, it's a little bit dusty. Um, they did, you know, someone came in and cleaned it, but it's not as clean as maybe you or I would have done. You come in and there is a nice coat closet and you've got the living room area with the gas fireplace, nice new windows. Put a wood facing on that. I kind of like that and quartz, matching the quartz of the counter. They have a ductless heat pump. That's a Dakin. They are very high quality. I have one myself. Um, they've got new appliances, beautiful whirlpool. Here's a little detail on the quartz. Nicely matches the flooring. Um, are these, let's check if these are soft, soft clothes drawers with a little bit of cajoling. Um, that is the backyard, which is really expansive whirlpool. Whirlpool, so they did all matching appliances. They have Whirlpool microwave. I'm gonna give you the view from here. That's a bedroom. So does this have plugs? Yep, awesome. So that does have plugs, nice, okay. Here's the dining area. As you can see, there's just like a little bistro sized table. It's not large. I'm gonna take you outside last, I think. I'm noticing the neighbor's fencing is just the metal fencing. Here's the view from the dining area. There's a long hallway. This is the bedroom off the dining area. It's got kind of small double closets. I don't know if the measurements for the rooms were in the listing, but this looks to be like a 10 by 11 or 11 by 11, possibly a 12, but it looks square. No, actually it doesn't quite look square. So back down the hallway to the left, we have the one bathroom. Oops, I left my purse there. That's not a good idea. New everything in here, which is kind of nice. But I think I showed you the picture of it um, before they bought it. I've been looking at so many things for people that I forget what I'm, sh I'm sending to whom. Fortunately, we're not having that situation where everyone's looking at the same property. Um, this room looks smaller than the last. This is maybe nine by nine. So the bathroom was right there. Here's where I just came from, the backyard area. This is the front door. There is a tiny linen closet right here. It's tall, but it's narrow. And then this is the biggest bedroom. This is the front here. It's a beautiful day here. Everything looks so good on the video. Um, so yeah, this is pretty big. So in here for additional heat, they have that cadet heater down there. This is a bigger closet. I wish for myself, I would wish that the master was off the back. I'm checking for cadet, yep, cadet heaters. Sorry, I know you're getting a boring gray and white palette everywhere. Um, just, yep, cadet, and I assume the bathroom also has another secondary heat source, which may or may not be that, but that doesn't look like it. Heading outside. Nice patio right here. Not a, no overhang. That's the neighbor's lovely, well-kept home. 
this is decently private. The bedrooms aren't so much, but back here is kind of somewhat private. This is the, um, that's the heat pump for that ductless pump. So the other thing's called ahead. That is the door to come out of the garage. And I did leave it open. Here's the hot water heater. Washer and dryer go in the garage. Um, this is a pretty standard, but definitely by no means large two-car garage. I'm gonna walk around here a little bit. Not wearing good shoes to do this off-road walking, but that's where we came from. The roof is all new, some neighbors. So last, I'm just gonna walk you up here so you can see the back of the house from the top of the yard. You can count my steps to get an idea of how far back this yard goes. It is massive, massive, massive. This would be great for grandchildren. It looks like they were trying to garden here. It doesn't look very successful. And they have a fire pit over here. It's hot today, I'm not used to it. It's all like 72 degrees right now. Got this nice oak and that nice oak and a smaller oak that's not really dominating the house. It's kind of close to the house, but not overwhelming. A view of the hills. It's lovely. This is in a really nice little pocket of Thurston Hills. Um, I have no problem with this house. It's an awful lot of yard. I guess you might have somebody come mow, but it is, other than that, easy care. This is original lawn. I don't have a lot of experience with the sod, but I believe you really need to baby it in the beginning and make sure it's watered. Looks like a truck came through here and made some marks, but that's it for now. I have, um, I'm going to Cottage Grove after this to get a listing photographed and then I will send this to you by the afternoon and it doesn't really matter that I'm telling you that because you will get it and you'll know. Anyway, that's it for now.